హలో దిస్ ఇస్ శేషాచలం ఫ్రమ్ యాష్గట్ మైసూర్ సో ఐ విల్ బి ఫినిషింగ్ ది ప్లేస్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సన్ ఇన్ ది ట్వెల్వ్ హౌజెస్ ఫ్రమ్ ది అసెండెంట్ సైన్ ఆఫ్ ఏర్ ఈస్ టుడే సో టుడే ఐ విల్ బి టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ సన్ ఇన్ ది ట్వెల్త్ హౌస్ సో వి నో దట్ ద ట్వెల్త్ హౌస్ ఈజ్ ఫార్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సిగ్నిఫికేషన్స్ one of the most important significations of the 12th house is good sleep which is lacking nowadays good sleep will give us a good day after it so that means you will wake up fresh a good way of understanding things also is to be seen from the 12th house see usually people think the 12th house is only for loss because it's uh, you know got that name vyasthana in sanskrit so they think that it is only for loss so please don't take it in that fashion 12th house is for losing identity no doubt in through which way are you losing identity because of your voluntary sir you know becoming uh, going into service you know losing identity by shunning your wrong ego so that's how it has to be seen so but let us first understand that 12th house from aries falls in the sign of pisces which is known as a complete sign a full sign a fantastic assign a pisces and any planet in pisces will get aged aged to full maturity because pisces is a mature sign so sun the fifth lord for aries <coughs> is the lord of leo and when it is placed in the sign of pisces it is placed in the nakshatras of purva bhadrapada fourth pada uttara bhadrapada 1 2 3 4 then you get revati 1 2 3 4 so that means purva bhadrapada 1 that is the fourth pada uttara bhadrapada four amshas and revati four amshas so you have nine amshas so first thing we have to see here is what are these amshas and which what which nakshatra is represented which planet represents of that particular nakshatra so purva bhadrapada nakshatra is represented by jupiter and that's only from 0 degrees to 3 degrees 20 minutes and the next pada that is the quarter is represented by uttara bhadrapada nakshatra which starts first pada that is the first quarter is starting from 3 degrees 20 minutes to 6 degrees 40 minutes and why am i so particular about that particular uh, nakshatra pada is that when sun is placed there in that nakshatra it represents a very peculiar thing it's very important why because <clears throat> when you see the amsha chart the amsha chart the navamsha of meena rashi that is pisces will start from kark rashi that is karkataka rashi cancer the first pada that is purva bhadrapada fourth pada will fall in kark rashi that is cancer and uttara bhadrapada 1 will fall in simha rashi so sun becomes extremely powerful when it is placed in that particular quarter that particular amsha but anyway let us not go into details of nakshatras which i have told you that it takes a lot of time and i'll have to take uh, uh, you know a details study can be done on stellar astrology with regard to planetary placements in all the 27 stars and their individual 
अंशस सो so, उत्तरा भाद्रपद इज रेप्रजेंटेड बै वीन साटर्न पूर्व भाद्रपद इज रेप्रजेंटेड बै जूपिटर उत्तरा भाद्रपद इज रेप्रजेंटेड बै साटर्न एंड देन द रेस्ट दट इज रेवती इज रेप्रजेंटेड बै मर्क्यूरी सो वे सन्न इज इन उत्तरा भाद्रपद नक्षत्र वी सी दट सन ए गेट्स एज takes up the experience being the fifth lord in the 12th house all the knowledge what the person acquired that is the native i am talking about aries ascendant all the knowledge what that person acquired will be fully utilized for spiritual endeavor to understand what is going to happen in the future how he has to put himself into a particular frame or a path to do service or to work or to be in charity how to go around to get moksha salvation in life so this self realization the process of self realization will be extremely good when it is placed in the nakshatra of uttara bhadrapada when it is placed in the revati nakshatra the person will be very active extremely sensitive um, very progressive with regard to his job excellent in abroad uh, you know excellent uh, studies abroad or far away from his place see everybody will not go abroad for studies if sun is placed in the 12th house for aries but still for aries ascendant when sun is in the 12th house in the nakshatra pada of revati except for the last pada of revati where it falls into the rashi ganda that is at 29 degrees and above between 29 and 30 so if sun is sitting in revati nakshatra then there is a very good chance that this person will excel in accounts in electronics in software engineering anywhere where there is calculation and mathematics required anywhere where there is statistics required this person does very good in it so excellent memory power you can understand that this is the 12th house just behind the ascendant being the fifth lord the lord for grasping knowledge that is the fifth house and mantra sthana so all this is should have excellent memory and sitting in the 12th from the ascendant will give excellent memory power so let us go in to one by one i have made some points here trouble in eyesight why because if you take the kala purusha the head falls on the lagna with the right eye on the second house and the left eye in the 12th house and the ears in the third and the 11th house so all this nostril everything has been divided we can understand it by understanding the drakana but not in such detail but still when you see the drakana you go into a further details into each uh, you know 10 degrees you will get the parts of the body and everything else but still let us go into the uh, thing now that is the left eye eye sight the there are two meanings in this let us first take the practical uh, you know virtual you know the direct meaning of it eye sight there will be trouble in eye sight they will have to wear glasses or they will be going through some uh, hospitalization with regard to eye sight okay the other meaning is the front of the lagna the second house which is clockwise second shows what you would want to see or what you will see the behind it that is the 12th is trying to tell you what will you make of it so you saw something what will you make of it how will you perceive it so that is the eyesight so anyway uh, it's a very detailed subject astrology is extremely detailed because uh, it goes into lot of uh, you you know human perspective understanding the filters you know uh, shadvargas 
Kama, Krodha, Madha, Matsarya, Loba, Moha, these filters, we need to understand them in a very detailed way to understand the 12th house. So, difficulty in physical relationship with the partner because you have a bright planet in the 12th house where it is bed pleasure. I, I was making a joke earlier, you know, <laughs> somebody also made a note of it. <laughs> when there is blood pressure, where will there be bed pleasure? So, <laughs> when the person cools down and is normal, he will have a bed pleasure. You know, pleasure is important when you need to cool down. So, uh, if, if you cannot cool down, the sun will never cool down. It's very hot. So, it's a hot planet in the 12th house will always be like a spiritualistically motivated personality. But when it comes to married life, you know, partnership, having a nice, happy married life, conjugal living, you need to understand the other person's requirement also. So, there will be difficulty. If it is afflicted, then the person will have to pay fines, penalties, taxes, will skip something, he'll forget something and then he'll have to, you know, um, pay the double the thing, you know, what we call as uh, penalties, anyway, the same word, to the government because it is sun. Bad for the well-being of children, also because it is the, uh, you know, when you count from the fifth house, let us count, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It is the eighth, that is the house of hurdles, house of difficulty, house of, you know, uh, uh, health, you know, that is why the Deha Kashta Yoga. So, that is for the children, the fifth of the native. So, the fifth lord, it itself going to the twelfth house is not good for its own sign, that is Leo, the fifth house. So, the fifth house is for children and it is bad for the relationship between the native and his own children, his or her own children. So, uh, it is a good placement if money is spent for religious, traditional, ritualistic, routine activities of life. But it is a bad position to frantically invest somewhere, to give it to somebody and think that you will multiply the money. That is a bad position. In its Dasha Bhukti, you need to be careful with regard to unnecessary spending because it might go waste. If you are trying to invest, you know, sudden panic investment, you will feel that, oh, he is my relative, he has come, he will be doing a good job. He will take my money, double it and give it to me. You will lose that money. So, what sort of problems an uh, Aries person might go through when sun is in the 12th house is that he might go have weak bones because Saturn represents the legs, Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra, weak immune system because Revati Nakshatra represents Mercury. So, sun in this position might give difficulty to the bones, uh, to the immune system and also to sleep. Usually, sun in the 12th house, uh, the person lacks sleep, not because of insomnia, but also because he is too, it, it's a very bright planet in the 12th house. So, he, his requ sleep requirement itself might be less. So, uh, I hope I have covered uh, general points also along with uh, sun with regard to the Aries Ascendant. Thank you very much for today's class.